concept of the global brain paints a future, influenced picture of a worldwide information and communication network linking all of humanity and their technological creations. As this network amasses more data, replacing traditional organizations' coordination and communication functions, it grows smarter and starts serving as the Earth's brain. Advocates for the concept contend that the Internet binds its users into unified information, processing systems that act as the planet's shared nervous system. The network's intelligence is collective or distributed, not centralized in any individuals, organizations, or computer systems. It can't be controlled or commanded. Instead, it self-organizes, emerging from dynamic interaction networks, which is a standard feature of complex adaptive systems. The World Wide Web particularly parallels the structure of a brain with web pages, acting as neurons linked by hyperlinks, which function as synapses, together creating a network for information propagation. This resemblance strengthens with the advent of social media platforms like Facebook, where personal page links imitate social connectivity, enabling people to people information sharing this propagation mirrors the spreading activation that neural networks use in the brain for distributed parallel information processing. Though Nikola Tesla had hinted at some of these ideas in the late 19th century, the term global brain was introduced by Peter Russell in his 1982 book, The Global Brain. In 1986, suggestions for developing the internet into this envisioned global brain was first discussed the concept gained scholarly recognition with the publishing of the first peer. Reviewed article on the subject by Gottfried Mayer, Krex in 1995. The initial algorithms that laid the foundation for turning the World Wide Web into an intelligent network were proposed by Francis Heilaien and Johann Bolin in 1996. Francis Heilaien outlines four facets in the development of the global brain concept organicism, encyclopedism, emergentism, and evolutionary cybernetics. Highline asserts that the four developed autonomously and have now come together in his reshaped scientific understanding. In the 19th century, sociologist Herbert Spencer likened society to a social organism and elaborated on the need for a nerve system. The concept of colonies as vast organisms was developed by entomologist William Wheeler. He termed the concept as superorganism. The idea of which was echoed in later works like Joel de Rosnay's book Le Curvo Plantaire, 1986, and Gregory Stock's Metaman, 1993, which portrayed society as a planetary superorganism. In the 1930s, Otlet conceptualized a system akin to the World Wide Web encompassing cross linking documents and instant communication, promising timely accessibility of global knowledge. Parallelly, H.G. Wells envisioned an ongoing, collaboratively maintained world encyclopedia, coordinated by an institute resembling a global university. He tagged this idea as World Brain, positing the possibility of an ever updated planet wide memory bank. Amidst this, Tim Berners, lead creator of the World Wide Web, stole the spotlight. Inspired by the brain's free associative facility to connect unrelated data, he drove forward the theory that computers could exponentially enhance their capacity should they replicate this cognition. The most outstanding manifestation of encyclopedism today is Wikipedia. It converges the associative might of the internet with the combined intellect of innumerable contributors, inching towards achieving a universal memory bank. Moreover, Berners, Lee initially suggested the semantic web, a framework enabling machines to interpret linked knowledge and generate autonomously inferred information. An alternative perspective led by Pierre Teilhard de Chardin ties together science, societal norms, and religion, culminating in a philosophy of progressive cognitive evolution towards planetary development. His theory, articulated in the phenomenon of man, proposes that evolutionary development leads to heightened complexity and consciousness levels. In this context, Teilhard perceives the formation of a global brains and, by extension, a global mind, fostering planetary consciousness and technologically dependent thought network. Such an internet-rich technological layer fuels the expansion of the new sphere, prefiguring the internet and web as we know it today. Kevin Kelly, author of the renowned 1994 book Out of Control, introduced the theory of a collective global consciousness or hive mind through his discussion of cybernetics and evolutionary biology. This idea was thereafter extensively studied by the Global Brain Consortium, founded by Francis Heilaken and Ben Gortzel in 1996, which facilitated the integration of top researchers in the field. The topic was given a platform in an international conference in 2001 hosted by the Vrijic University Brussels. 
The global brain theory, after a period of less attention, has reattracted significant interest thanks to influential web forecaster Tim O'Reilly and investor Yuri Milner. In line with this revival, the Global Brain Institute, GB, was inaugurated at the Vrije Universiteit Brussel in 2012 with an aim to develop a mathematical theory to understand information dispersal on the internet in a manner analogous to the propagation in a brain. In the same year, Thomas W. Malone, along with other scholars from MIT's Center for Collective Intelligence, started studying how to enhance the effectiveness of the global brain using collective intelligence. Furthermore, Dirk Helbing, a leading complexity scientist and his group NervousNet initiated the groundwork for a planetary nervous system and a global participatory platform as a fraction of the enormous Futuric project. Elon Musk, in 2017, established the ambitious company Neuralink with a focus to develop a brain-computer interface, BCC, superior in information bandwidth to any human design interface. Musk is of the view that the advanced BC will assist in maintaining human cognition's relevance when relative to the exponentially advancing artificial intelligence systems. A prominent apprehension scrutinizing this theory is that it might impede individual freedom and diversity and would result in universal surveillance. These concerns, in essence, mirror the dystopian fears reflected in George Orwell's character of Big Brother and draw parallels to insect society's collective intelligence. The rebuttal from global brain theorists is that optimal collective intelligence demands individual independence, decentralization, and diversity of opinion as articulated by James Surowiecki in The Wisdom of Crowds. Besides, the more distributed decision-making would lessen the clout of big corporations, governments, or political representatives, making democracy more participative and reducing totalitarianism threats.